So I've seen a lot of people online talking about how this new format's already stale, the same decks are topping. Well, have no fear because Power of the Elements is here in about two months to shake up the format. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Colossal Titan smash the ever-living hell out of that subscribe button so that we can get to 800 eventually 1,000 subscribers. Y'all been killing it. We're at almost 740 subs, and thank you all so much for all of your support. I'm sorry that I didn't upload a video yesterday. I've been feeling like shit since yesterday, and my neck is hurting, and it's just, it's been a wild thing. So let's just dive on into this before I start feeling like shit even more. I want to talk about Power of the Elements and the implications that it has moving on later into the this format. Now we roughly get new core sets every three to four months, and that's going to be the case as well for Power of the Elements. We just got Dimension Force, and in about three months, we're going to get Power of the Elements, which of course has Splite. Splite has shown to be a tier zero deck in the OCG. Last time I looked, it had like over 60% representation there in the OCG. You're going to have to pardon me. My allergies have been absolutely horrible today. And so having splite come into the format is going to shake things up absolutely just bananas crazy wild um because it is going to be i i'm i'm i i don't know if i want to say this but i'm gonna go out on a limb and say it it's gonna be a tier zero deck here at the tcg now obviously we have a different card pool compared to the ocg we don't have max c we don't have vanity's emptiness we don't have these things however we have a very fast format, and when you have a deck like Splite that is all level twos, can play frogs, can play evil twins, can be dumped into a lot of different things, and we still have a Brave Engine at full power, assuming that that's not hit on our next ban list, which will come out around the time that Power of the Elements comes out, as history has shown to prove itself every three to four months, we get a new list, and... Unless they do something to the Brave Engine, which I have a feeling that they will, I feel like that they're going to hit Rite of Aramiser and Water Enchantress to either one or to two, because there's really no reprint in sight for these cards. And having that at full power along with Splite is really going to cause the format to shake up. You're going to see, depending on the kind of hits that Branded Despia gets, uh, you're going to see Branded Despia as a good deck, you're going to see Flunder be a good deck, uh, and then you're going to see Splite taking over everything uh, because anything that can run a level two engine and doesn't mind being locked into level slash rank slash link two monsters is going to play at least some kind of Splite engine. And so you're going to see these meta decks right now, some of them fall off. I would make the argument that Sword Soul will possibly fall off. We've seen it fall off in the OCG. You're going to see... Decks like Sky Striker even fall off more. We may even see Salad fall off more to the wayside where it was before they got Mirage Stallio and Salaman Great Circle at three. And if you don't realize what Splite does, essentially it is a level two, link two, rank two deck that focuses on getting out, quite honestly, just rank two negates like totally awesome. But not only that, is that they're a one card engine and we know in, in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh now anything that has a one card engine is going to be good you know look at Despia look at even Flunder to an extent they just have other cards that help them make their plays um even Eldritch to an extent because they just have ways to get to Golden Lord they have the back row to back them up and all this other stuff and so with Splite I mean all you need like you could just use the quick play Splite Starter which gets you to a Splite Monster Splite Blue which honestly just looks like Super Saiyan Blue printed on a card which is cool is the Stratos you have Carrot which is a negate I believe it's from Monsters and then or no excuse me Carrot is the spell and trap negate uh, red is the monster to gate and it can shit out totally awesome. It's like it's nobody's fucking business. And it is going to absolutely shake up the format. That's why you're seeing frog stuff, all level two stuff go up in price. You can play it with evil twins. You can play it, like I said, with anything that can utilize level two. I'm just saying evil twins because that's the last thing I tested with the deck. And so if you are getting bored with this format, if you're really getting tired of seeing Brand Despia, Sword Soul, uh, Flunder, insert whatever other tier one to tier two deck that you want to talk about here it's going to shake up come two months from now basically because it comes out the eighth month of the year and 
it, it's going to change things. It's going to change things a lot. Some people say that the legendary duelist thing with Mako Tsunami is going to shake this stuff up. It's going to shake up the format, I mean to say. And really, it's not. Like, yeah, the water stuff is cool. It might help out Splite in the future, maybe, but not really. It's, it's a cool stun deck. That's really all it is. There's nothing special in it. We're not getting any sort of TCG exclusive because it's a side set. It's it's nothing. It's really nothing. So I just wanted to make this video to say if you're getting bored with this format, don't worry. We're getting more down the line. And keep in mind, too, that, again, when we get that course set in a couple more months, we will get another ban list. It might be a little bit of time afterward, but we will get another ban list. And that in of itself is going to be a huge question mark until we get it. Because who knows what Konami will do on this list or on that next list. Will they unban another card? Will they hit stuff so that Splite isn't as good? Will they just destroy Despia, Flunder, and Sword Soul on that ban list? Will they destroy the Adventure Engine? Will they ban DP? So many questions, so few answers. And it's really cool to look forward to that. I mean, the deck I'm playing right now is really off the radar, and I wish I could show it, but it's already on YouTube, and I really don't want to tip my hat and give it more exposure in case anybody from like my local Jacksonville community watches my videos. I don't I don't want them to know what I'm playing. Um, so don't worry, I will be profiling that probably after I use this cheese at locals in like the next week or two. Um, but all of this to say is don't worry, just give it some time. If you're bored with this format, take a break, save your money, quite honestly. Like if you're sitting on stuff and you just don't want to play in this regional season, sell it all off because it's only benefiting you at the end of the day to wait for something like Splite to come out and just like throw down the 700 plus dollars or however much you need to get a case of Power of the Elements and get your Splite Core. And yes, I do think that you should get a case of Power of the Elements. I think that it's going to be one of the best sets of this year uh, going into... Uh, well, I guess soon to be after that 2023, because uh, then you only have, what, four more months of this year before you hit 2023, and then, you know, a whole new year of Yu-Gi-Oh! begins. Splite is going to be that fucking good, and you've got to be ready for it. It requires, from what I've seen over in the OCG, at least two hand traps in your opening hand to really stop that deck, depending on Splite's opening hand and whatever other sub engines they're playing in the deck. So guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. What do you think is gonna happen here in the TCG with Splite? Am, am I just out of my mind? Is there some sort of dark horse of the format that I'm not even thinking of? Please let me know all that more in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.